Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Joss. So this is some actual gameplay footage of the new infection mode coming to Halo 5 Guardians in the Memories of Reach update. So this is not my gameplay footage. This is actually from the 3 for the 3, 3 developers themselves. They finally decided to release this for us to see what we can expect when this game mode does come out. And it's going to come out pretty dang soon, like in a, in a week and a half, I think. So we're going to get a hands-on it pretty dang soon. I cannot wait to actually try it out myself because it definitely looks fun. So it looks like it's going to be like a classic infection mode that we all know and love, but with its own Halo 5 twist. So it's going to be a lot of fun to play. Now, there are some new things that they're adding to this game mode. So one of those being the pestilence effect to all zombies. So you guys will see some of the zombies kind of got this crazy stuff coming to the armor. It's called the pestilence effect. Now, this is from the Halo Reach days. If you guys ever played that game, then you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of like this green, stinky stuff coming to your armor. And that's where it's from. Now, the reason why they added this to the zombies in this game is to help you guys distinguish what a zombie looks like. So you guys won't get confused as to what a friendly or enemy looks like. You guys will be able to see a zombie all the way across the map. I think that's great. It's going to be a great addition because it you know, just makes the zombies look cool too. And you won't get confused. So that's even better. Now here's another, another new thing they added. This guy right here that we're looking at. He's the last man. And he has some new traits. He has unlimited ammo and a faster reload speed. So these new traits will help you survive the round a little bit longer. And then if you guys ever played Infect, then you, Infection, you guys know exactly how hard it is as the last man standing to stay alive. So these new traits will definitely help you out. And even then, you know, might be able to get a higher multi-kill with just these traits, even if you don't survive the round. But who knows? You might be able to survive the entire round with these traits added. So it's going to be really, really fun having these as the last man. And I cannot wait to actually try them out myself. Now, all of these new things that they're adding to this game, they're all customizable in your own custom lobby of infection. So if you want to spark this up, play infection with your friends, whatever, you have the option to change all these up in any, whatever way you want. And it's going to be great because I'm glad they're adding this because I'm sure a lot of people will change these up in their in their own game and they're going to make it you know fun in their own way. And that's great. They're listening to the community. They're allowing the community to do it in whatever the heck they way, way they want. And that's awesome. That's going to be a really, really great addition to this game. I think it'll please a lot of a lot of people too, a lot of those players because Infection was originally created by the community and they should have that right. So I think it's really good that they're listening to the community. So some other new things, the Spartans have full abilities. So Spartan Thrust, Spartan uh, Charge and all that crazy stuff. And then the Zombies have Disabled Sprint and no Spartan Charge. They have a Thruster Enabled and Increased Jump Height and Speed. So it sounds like they're really balancing it out with the Spartan abilities and the Infected abilities. Now this guy right here is partially invisible. He's known as the Alpha Zombie. So you're the Alpha Zombie when you're the very first person infected in a round. And this is, uh, you know, this trait is added so it helps you get your first kill a little bit easier because when you're not invisible, it's really hard to get those Spartan kills. And, uh, you know, you really wanna, you want to, you want as much help as you can get as a zombie when you're the only one killing those, those Spartans because it's not easy. It's not easy when you got all these Spartans looking at you. So this invisibility, we're still, we're certain to help you out and get those, help you get those Spartans affected and help you get some new teammates added to your team. So I think that's a great addition too to this game. Now when this game does become live, it's going to have three developer infected maps on Riptide, Plaza, and Overgrowth. And they're also Im implementing some community, community maps on launch. So that's pretty dang awesome. They're allowing the community to, you know, put their maps in the playlist and we're actually going to be able to play some of these community made maps so that's going to be really really fun so i'm really looking forward to playing this game mode when it does come out what do you guys think about this gameplay footage of what you're seeing i think it looks really fun it's going to be it's going to be a last a blast to play and i cannot wait to get my hands on it so thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you guys did enjoy it if you did please give a thumbs up that'd be awesome if you new subscribe that'd be even better and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya